ad hoc testing. Ad hoc testing is an informal testing type with an aim to break the system. This testing is usually an unplanned activity. It does not follow any test design techniques to create test cases. In fact, it does not create test cases altogether. This testing is primarily performed if the knowledge of the tester in the system under test is very high. This testing, as you know already, does not require any documentation, planning, processes to be followed. Since the testing aims at finding defects through random approach, without any documentation, defects will not be mapped to test cases. Hence, sometimes it is very difficult to reproduce the defects as there are no test steps or requirements mapped to the test cases. When do you execute ad hoc testing? Ad hoc testing can be performed when there is limited time to do elaborate testing. In general practice, ad hoc testing is performed only after formal test case execution. And if time permits, ad hoc testing can be done on the system. Ad hoc testing will be effective only if the tester is knowledge of the system under test. Types of ad hoc testing Buddy testing Two buddies mutually work on identifying defects in the same module. Mostly, one buddy will be from development team while another person will be from testing team. Buddy testing helps the tester develop better test cases and development team can make design changes early. This testing usually happens after unit test completion. Pair testing Two testers are assigned modules, share ideas and work on the same machines to find effect. One person can execute the test while another person can take notes on the findings. One of the person would be the tester while the other would be the scriber taking notes. Now the obvious question you may face is what's the difference between buddy and pair testing? Well, in buddy testing, uh, the team comprises of one person from the development team while the other person is from the testing team and uh, usually it focuses on but in pair testing, one person, uh, both the people are from testing background but one person may be inexperienced and another person will be very experienced. Monkey testing, as the name suggests, is randomly testing the product or the application with the goal of breaking the system. Best practices of ad hoc testing to give you the most effective good business knowledge. Test key modules first because you are most likely to find your bugs there. Record the defects, it's very important. So uh, I may leave you with a note that the advantages of ad hoc testing is to check for the completeness of, of testing and find more defects than the planned activity. In case you find defects during ad hoc testing, those test cases are added to the planned test cases. It saves a lot of time because the activity is not planned and there is no documentation or test case designing involved.